Dr. Knights and friends, we are gathered here today to pay tribute to the Regimental Bomb, Ulster Volunteer Force 1912, East Belfast, in their 50th anniversary year. Sons of Ulster, Royal Black Receptory No. 375, has enjoyed a harmonious relationship with the band since 2005, and we are proud to have contributed to the band's history. Today is our 15th last Saturday together, and over the years we have enjoyed, enjoyed some notable occasions. On our visit to Loch Gaul, we paid tribute to the volunteers of County Armagh, USSF, who captured Drogheda on the 20th of July, 1913. We visited Bush Mills War Memorial and held a remembrance service for Sergeant Robert Quigg, VC, 12th Battalion Royal Irish Rifles, 36th Ulster Division, and a member of the Central Anthro Volunteers. More recently, together, we commemorated the 100th anniversary of the Great War Peace Celebrations at West Belfast Orange Hall and in Woodville Park, and we dedicated two memorial stones in honour of the 36th Ulster Division and told the forgotten story of the seven memorial oaks planted in seven parks around Belfast honouring the volunteers of the Ulster Division. Before I hand over to our chaplain Sir Nate Norman McCune for the opening prayer, may I on behalf of the Worshipful Master, Officers and Sir Nates of Ro Sons of Ulster, RBP 375, take this opportunity to wish the Regimental Band God's richest blessings today and in the future, and may the band go from strength to strength. As the band passes by, one enjoys the music, but look and listen closer. Are the ghosts of our beloved forefathers standing in quiet observation? Are the sounds of the boots on the road an echo of a time we face the common foe? For God and Ulster. For his keen and country, well he stood, unknown to Card's fears. Somewhere in front he shed his blood with the Ulster Volunteers. We are gathered here today to, to, to dedicate the plaque, the celebration, honour and perpetual memory of the officers and members, both past and present, of the Regimental Bond, Ulster Volunteer, Ulster Volunteer Force 1912, East Belfast. Since its inception 50 years ago, the Regimental Bond has been and remains at the forefront of Bond discipline, dignity, decorum and of course a Saxon musical ability. They have achieved and maintained a standard that is second to none, both through our troubled past and in, indeed today and our still uncertain future. We give thanks to Almighty God for guiding the Regimental Bond and ask for His gracious hand to be on them as they continue <coughs> to do so. Ever mindful that all their service and sacrifice is all for our undisputable and unchangeable cause that is for God and Ulster. Amen. We'll now have the unveiling of the plaque uh, carried out by our virtual master, William Johnson, and our deputy master, uh, Sir Nate, uh, William Mc uh, McQuesson. It's, it's an honour and privilege to be a worshipful master of Sons of Ulster, Royal Black Reservoir 375, at this auspicious occasion. First of all, I would like to thank our friends and benefactors, Mr. and Mrs. Sandy Close, for creating this beautiful marble tablet. In honour of the Regiment Band, Ulster Volunteer Force, and we pay tribute to on every parade and on this 50th anniversary. The Regimental Band does testify to the glorious deeds of the volunteers of the 36th Ulster Division. On the band's bass drum is dated 1912. So on the marble is the nine countries, counties of Ulster commemorating all the Ulster volunteers. Your smug face crowds like kindly eye with cheer when soldiers lads march by. Some seek and pray, home and pray, you'll never know the hell where youth and laughter go. I would like now the Deputy Master to unveil the stone. It was a great honour 
to speak at the unveiling of this mural and dedicated earlier this year to mark the 50th anniversary of the Ulster Volunteer Force Regimental Band, East Belfast. As you can see, the mural depicts some of the proud history of the band. I spoke then about the band's integral place in this community here in East Belfast and how their playing and performances have brought much pleasure to thousands over the years. I emphasised its close association and faithful commitment to Balmacarrick No. 6 Orange District. However, their playing talent is not just confined to East Belfast. As you've already heard, they've played across the city, around this province in England, Scotland, France and Belgium, at concerts from the City Hall to the Ulster Hall, remembered services, parades, rallies and from the 12th to Black Saturday. The band have links with many loyal orders, community groups and SOM associations. We gather here today on the Royal Black Institution's major parade of the year to highlight and mark a long-standing relationship the regimental band has with the Sons of Ulster RBP 375 West Belfast, a link which has grown deeper with the passage of time. A friendship has been developed and a strong bond established between the preceptory and the band. Sons of Ulster and the regimental band have much in common, as we've already heard, and it goes beyond the ties of faith and country beyond the Protestant and British heritage that both celebrate and are committed to defend and uphold. Both have a great passion of remembering our men and women who have served King and Empire, Queen and Commonwealth. Both are committed not only to the act of remembering, but also the preservation and promotion of remembering itself, keeping alive the memory of those who served and those who fell, establishing new memorials and educating others as to the sacrifice of previous generations for the liberties and freedoms that we enjoy today. We're standing at this mural, celebrating the band's 50 years on the road. And where is it adjacent to a memorial garden and mural depicted to those members of the 36th Ulster Division who fell in the Great War? At times the uniforms worn by the band are a living tribute, as are the colours that they carry, as they march in the footsteps of kith and kin who went to fight the Hun and other enemies. Everyone who sees this band and prayed is reminded of those who served in World War I and many of the tunes they hear reflect that period. Sons of Ulster's banner clearly reflects their commitment to keep alive the memory of past battles and sacrifices of individuals who served their country. As you already heard, the Precept is involved in supporting projects such as the Peace Tree in Woodfield Park and donating to the work of the Commonwealth War Graves Commission. It is clear how the ethos of the band and the preceptory complement one another. So it is no wonder that their relationship has lasted. And therefore not surprising that the Sons of Ulster wanted to mark the 50th anniversary of the regimental band in a special way. Hence this plaque has been unveiled here today. As has been said and all of they shared, they both have the title Ulster in their names. And this plaque names not only the six counties of our beloved Northern Ireland, but the nine counties of the province of Ulster. The motto the Preceptory has chosen for the plaque is to strive, to seek, to find and not to yield. This is the last line from the epic classical poem Ulysses, written by Lord Tennyson, also author of the Charge of the Light Brigade, and there's a bit of a hint of that also on the banner. Ulysses tells us about the Greek hero called Ulysses, who declares that there's little point in a staying at home but feels compelled to live life to the full. Well, there are certainly some characters in the band who I know live life to the full. Ulysses' travels expose them to many different types of people and to the light of battle by fighting the Trojan War with his men. No comment or comparison is necessary there. Ulysses declares that it is boring to stay in one place and that the remain stationary is to rust rather than to shine. The regiment band can't be accused of staying in one place. Indeed, they move at twice the pace of most bands and shine wherever they go. In the closing lines of the poem, Ulysses speaks to his comrades with whom he has worked, travelled and weathered life storms over many years. Like the experience of the band members over these 50 years, they have weathered a lot together. And finally, Ulysses states that he and his comrades are not as strong as they were in their youth. But they have a strong will and a resolve to push forward relentlessly, 
to strive, to seek, to find, and not to yield. In many ways, this is the bond's response to another quote on this mural. They said we would never last. Well, the band not only lasted, but flourished. Why? Because they strived in the face of opposition. They sought to honor their comrades. They found new friends along the way, and they never yielded, no matter what. Thus, this plaque is a fitting gift from the Sons of Ulster RBB 375 to their friends in the Ulster Volunteer Force Regimental Band to commemorate the band's 50th anniversary. May your association and friendship continue and the night the band will share in the Persepolis 75th anniversary celebrations which I believe are June 2021. Let me share one first from the Bible that put into practice will ensure not only the relationship you have but will help all of our relationships. It's from Romans 12, verse 10. Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honour. Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honour. The Apostle Paul states in this chapter that most of our difficulties in life are the result of selfishness. But when we offer our lives to God, we tell him we are willing to ensure whatever he calls us to do for his sake. We are placing God's eternal plan and purpose above our own temporary wants. Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honour. That's friendship. That's faith. Faith that causes us to strive, to seek, to find and not to yield. It gives me great pleasure to dedicate this plaque in honour of the UVF Regimental Band's 50th anniversary and their friendship with Sons of Ulster RBP 375. May all who see it be reminded that our friendships are rooted in history, written in blood and maintained by the causes we share for God and Ulster. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we take time out from our last Saturday demonstration to come before you this morning to dedicate this plaque in honour of the Ulster Volunteer Force Regiment and Band's 50th anniversary and its long association with the Sons of Ulster, RBP 375. We pray for the officers and members of the band and the officers and knights of the preceptory, giving thanks for the friendship that they enjoy. May they grow even closer over the coming years as they both seek to remember those who have served in various theatres of war. O Lord, bless them in all their endeavours, for we pray all these things in the name of the one and only true mediator between man and God, your Son and our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I understand the band are going to play for us. Regimental band, when Johnny comes marching home.
Heavenly Father, be the band and preceptors that continue with this prayer on the last Saturday. Lord, watch over them and keep them safe. May they have an enjoyable day and continue to cement their friendship together. As we part from this memorial garden, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all and all whom we love, both now and forevermore. Amen. Just before uh, we play the national anthem, uh, can I call, call upon Stuart E. Garford, the secretary of the regimental band, to say a few words? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Sir Knights, friends, on behalf of the regimental Ulster Volunteer Force Band 1912 East Belfast, we are very, very humbled at the plaque that has been presented to us by RBP 375. You're all standing here on our piece of hallowed ground, and this just really adds it's something that has taken 50 years in the making, and for us to be here today, for you presenting us that, we're very, very humbled. We also like to extend our hand of friendship for the support that RBP 375 has given us over the years. And we thank you very, very much for that. Our own bond has a saying, friendship, honour, loyalty. And we'd like to say that to you today. For God and Ulster. Just before the uh, national anthem, <coughs> just one more presentation. I'd like to present a uh, preceptory tie to Burden. Um, in 2016, our preceptory visited the Eat, and on the tie, there's a depiction of the Eat land. And uh, would like to uh, show our appreciation for today, and thank you very much for your for your help. Much appreciated. Thank you. Sir Knight, the national anthem.
for doing that.